um, I, I watched this movie. I probably, honestly, over the years, I probably watched this movie probably around 70 times. I just, really? Yeah. No huh. shit. Um, I've seen it a few times. Yeah, I, I just like the movie. It's funny, and uh, I just I just like it. I'll have to watch it again. It's yeah. been years since yeah, it's, I've it's, seen uh, it. It's a good movie, and it's called DC Cab. Uh, and it's, you know... Um, Joel Schumacher, he's yeah. a big director, yeah. you know, and so um, he did a nice job on the movie. It's pretty funny, and uh, this has some. I'm surprised. Yeah, well, uh, speaking about Joel Schumacher, he did the other my my other favorite movie, which we won't talk about this week, but I'll just I'll just chime in for it. That's coming up next week is uh, Honky Tonk Freeway. Never heard of it. And there you go. And so he's he's another big director of that time, and so we'll talk about that. Is he next the week. brother of Michael? Michael Schumacher. Uh, uh, who, I don't know who's Michael. Who? Oh wait, no. Who's the big Who's the big wig guy now that produces a lot of movies? Got the same last name. Is it the same guy? Spielberg. No, no, no. Um, I'm trying to think of what movies he's produced. Bruckheimer. Jerry. Oh yeah, something in Bruckheimer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bruckheimer. Jerry, Jerry Bruckheimer. Jerry Bruckheimer. Yeah. yeah, we just got to chime in from somebody. Um, uh, I I can't read that, but. So why go on about uh, it? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. And uh, our book review, our book review of the week, um, and I don't know if anybody perused through this book. Uh, it's an older book, uh, but we pick books for different, um, different every week, and we uh, we recommend uh, books. I mean, whether you uh, this this what the hell is that? Oh, uh, Michael Schumacher uh, is um he's a race guy. Yeah, he's a race yeah. guy. Um, thank you for that caller. Appreciate that. Um, is Private Dancer, and Private Dancer is about um, this guy who goes to ba- Bangkok and falls in love with this girl. Um, I guess she's a pole dancer. Uh, dog, do you know what a pole dancer is, dog? Yeah, I know what a pole dancer is. Yeah, and uh, so, so. I love that kind of sight right there, yeah. baby. Yeah, so and um, he goes on a roller coaster ride Isn't of sex. Is that Matt Bunny? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he goes on a roller coaster ride of um, of. Uh, of uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, I guess, uh, and deception. But uh, it's not, it's, it, he, I guess he has a, his, this girl turns it into a personal nightmare for him. So it's a good read. Uh, it's by, now this guy, it's funny that she's holding a, um, a razor, a single edge razor in her hand. Yeah. And the name of the guy who um, wrote the book, his name is Stephen Leather. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, irony right there. Well, because you know, I don't know if you guys. Well, you wouldn't know, right? right. But about the barber shops when they get a shave, you get shaved. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, with the single What's leg that got to do with Steven? Yeah. Because his his, 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 his name is um his name is Steve, Stephen Leather. Oh, leather. Yes, and so if you look at the if you look at the cover of the book, it has a a, a girl there with holding a razor blade, a single edge razor blade. So years ago. Um, you can uh, you get used to get shaves. Yeah, my barber. Uh, probably five years ago, he would still clean my neck up with a straight edge. Yeah, would you? You have, you have that have that done, Joe? Shave? Straight edge? Yeah. No, not no. I never had a shave with one. Yeah, it's, um, it's not the it's not the most savory feeling. Not yeah, it, but I mean they do a nice job though. I mean they, you know. My grandfather, I, you know, Joe, my grandfather used to carry one. Yeah, but I know what it did, but he didn't call it carry one shave and all. He didn't shave anybody, no, didn't I'm shave, sure, yeah. No, he didn't shave anybody, but yeah, I know, I know, I know. No, no, I know. most of the same guys, they carried that or the uh, the other thing. No, yeah, no. I know, I know. Yeah, I, know. I, only, I, I would only let him do the back of my neck. He got nowhere near the jugular. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, speaking, about, speaking about that, um, we gotta, we got to talk about the, the, uh, the wine press, Joe, oh, at one point. The, grand, the grandfather's yeah. wine press. Yeah, yeah we got we to... Gotta, you know, uh, I want to pick that up sometime. I want to get, I want to put that back into use. Um, and that's, uh, you told me it's very, very heavy, isn't it? It's, it, oh, it, gee, it, there's no way. I'm, I'm not touching it. Yeah, I'm gonna have it picked up. I'll actually, um, I'll, I'll have Kyle pick it up. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle will pick it up. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah. We call that. Kyle and Nada. Nada will come down. And yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Nada um, will bench press it. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, you know, I'm I, I haven't seen that 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 press there is probably um uh, well, actually that was I don't my think green. You ever seen? I mean, maybe you seen when you were a little kid. No, it's probably all rusted now and stuff. It needs repair. No, it's, it's, where it's, is it? It's uh, it's in Joey D's basement. I gotta go pick it up. In what is it? Uh, 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 no, it's no, my no, grandfather's no, no. wine it's press. In my, no, it's my brother's house, in not the Andover. Yeah, um, like, I gotta go pick that up. My now, what, grandfather what bought that, that off the grandfather. It's, yeah, it's a it's a big. Um, it's a it's a press, 
my grandfather used to make wine, and yeah. then he used to supply a lot of the restaurants in the North End with um, the table wine, which they called, you know, joke, the gallons of table wine. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I used to run up and down with the hand truck uh, with three three boxes of four gallons, each box, to actually 12 gallons of uh, yeah. table wine delivered to the restaurants at night. Uh, Joe was a food lag guy. Yeah, no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we, <laughs> We used to, you know, he used to have the barrels of wine, so he has to have this press. And we, used, I used to go with him uh, to um, uh, Chelsea and pick up the grapes at the market show. You know yeah, what I mean? Photos down there. Him. Yeah, down there. Oh, okay, yeah. And then uh, he used to he used to grind the grapes on the on the press, and, yeah. and then uh, you know, and then that's how we made the wine, oh, just like cool. that. But I didn't make the wine. My grandfather, my gra- my uh, great grandfather did. Yeah. So that's actually my great grandfather's press, uh, and that press no. probably has. That that press there, your know, grandfather had two press, you know. My father yeah. was saying. Yeah, yeah. And two this press. one, he he bought. He had. I don't know if he kept the older one or what, but he he had two of them. Like you see, he was making so much one. He my father bought one of them off your grandfather for his father, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for a present, you know what I mean? This, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what happened. Even though my, you know. It was back in the fifth, late fifties or something like that, yeah. early sixties. Yeah, it. long time ago, long time ago. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he used to make a, a shitload of wine. Wow. Well, they lived cool. in the, my father, my it's grandfather lived in grandfather's building. Yeah, it's know? made out of oak. It's made out of oak. Oh, that thing! Wow. I haven't seen that thing in years. I'm, yeah. I, I forget what it's made out of. Yeah, it's made out of oak and uh, oak, made out like of it's oak. Wood. Hey. It's a wooden table, like a table wooden, you know, with the grips. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The squeezings are going on too. Oak. Yeah, and cast iron. You know, it's heavy. Really, you know, I mean, that's yeah. a heavy, heavy piece. But yeah, uh, I'd like to check that out. Uh, mm. Yeah, it'd be cool, really cool. But it's probably worth a few bucks today, you know. Um, well, I'm I gonna know. sell it to Joe for a thousand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, he, uh, actually, uh, yeah, he, Joe's uh, was uh, he's nice enough to give that give that to me, and I appreciate that, Joe. We'll, you know, I'll send Kyle over there probably with Jimmy to pick that up at one point. <laughs> You know, <laughs> but um, no yeah. way. You know what? I don't it's think two guys can pick the fucking thing up. Huh? I don't think two guys. I think they need more. Uh, I well, I, yeah, I could put it on one of the big box of trucks. I you know, on the trucks or whatever. It's not a big deal. But well, anyway, wanna, we talk with Billy to we'll find out what. what yeah, exactly find out what. what yeah, what happened? Yeah, no big deal. Anyway, um, but that's it. I mean, you go, you like wine, Joe, don't you? Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of wine lately. The beers been filling me up. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you, you I like, like wine. I like no, nice not a wine fan. Yeah, he's not, um, the guy's not like a wine a nice fan. fan. He's not a wine fan. No, uh, I like J- a nice wine. Oh no, my! Yeah, Jimmy says too, too sweet. I can't like. It's like one of those acquired tastes. Sweet. I, just, I can't do it. Sweet. Yeah. No, better, like, yes, better, yes. Well, he drinks Boone's Farm, basically, right? <laughs> yeah, Boone's Farm, yeah. Boone's Farm, yeah, so. Yeah, or uh, duels. Yeah, or duels and stuff like yeah. that. But uh, no, I like wine. You don't like wine, do you, Cal? I don't drink wine at all. I can't get it up to my lips. Nor yeah. a beer. I never drink a beer in my life. Well, I like beer with pizza and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I just can't. I just can't drink it. No, I like I like uh, wine with macaroni or something like that. You know. All right. You know, or steak. Yeah. You know, but beer with steak is not. I don't know. Unless you're at a barbecue, right? Well, no, yeah. I like Sam Adams. I drink the Sam Adams. The nice steak, and I mean, it's good. It's a nice. Beer. That's not that. Sam Adams way too heavy. With wine? No, it's nice and delicious, babe. The Sam Adams Light, drink that, you'll love it. It's not really heavy, but it's just, it's nice. Yeah, yeah I know. The, I, know the, I know the regular Sam Adams. You drink like three of those, you feel like you just ate like twelve well, pounds of potatoes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. drink, no, drink the light. light. The light is just perfect. The really? Sam Adams Light. Yeah. I know Jim Cook. I know him real good. Oh, really? He owns a company. Yeah. Wow, it's cool. Fifteen years ago, we went we had the paint business. We painted his house. Then nice. he approached it, but get this, 1984, who comes in walking the decos and some of them when we first got the club? Yeah. He sits down with us. He says we bought a keg of beer off him. He, uh, you know, for college kids in Tufts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's when he started, 1984. He's sitting down with us talking about the beer. Oh, and no I, kidding. No one knew about huh. Sam Adams in 1984. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And uh, yeah. we bought a keg off him, and it really didn't go off big because those beers weren't big. You know, Miller and Bud were the biggest beers, you know, the kids were drinking. Natty Light. Yeah. Now they're not. Uh, actually, uh, Budweiser and uh, Miller. I mean, Budweiser and. No. Yeah, Miller Light. They're not, they're not Miller, even American Miller, beers. Miller Light yeah, no, no. Budweiser oh. was the top selling beers back in the early 80s. 
you know. But they're not American based anymore. No, they're owned by uh, oh, a Euro- European company. Yeah, yeah. one's yeah, by the South Germans Africa. Bud- Budweiser. No. Yeah. Joey, Budweiser. I used to test their scales when in yeah? Boston there, when their brewery. And, yeah. and when I went in there to have the paper signed by Jim Cook, he was in a break room, and the break room is a bar. It's, it's a bar. And they were all yeah. doing 20 something ounce glass. I, I go, so you do this every day? He goes, well, somebody's got to test the shit. And it's was like that on State Street? There. In Jamaica Plain. Yeah, well, he had his offices on State Street, and his cafeteria was all beers and all yeah, the uh, refrigerators. Yeah, the actual brewer were the other yeah. guys. You know what it is? In the in yeah. yeah, that guy there. Yeah, Jim Cook. He's we again when he hears story. Well, I can't say that. I won't say it on the radio with him. Forget it. <laughs> Forget about it. Yeah. You know? yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, just, I, I I I never tried it to stay true. Oh, you, like it. No. you like it. You like it. I yeah. tried the, the heavy stuff in the beginning, but like I said, Joey says there that the light Damn. is a hell of a the light lot is better. just right. The light is better. better the light than tastes Budweiser. Like... Yeah, way better. What about that beer that has that little that little plastic thing inside of it? Is it plastic thing inside? Yeah, that's like it's like a like, uh, that's a dark beer. Preservation? No, no, it's a it's a it's a it's a Go tampon. <laughs> huh? Guinness. Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it has a ball inside of it. What's the ball for? I don't know. I don't know if it allows you to drink the beer faster or not. I'm not sure. Did you ever hear that, Joe? No. Yeah, there's a ball in Guinness beer. Yeah. (laughs) What's funny about that is it brings a ball inside there. No, I don't know why. Why, why yeah, it doesn't come out? I don't know why. No, you check that out. Why there was a ball in Guinness beer? It's like a monkey's ball. What? <laughs> what did you what say you that? We were drive time and choke on it. Huh? What did no, you drink a, it and choke? I don't think the. I don't think it can come no, out. No, doesn't come out. The, the ball, ball doesn't come out. No. Oh, all right. Obviously, no. Just like the balls doesn't <laughs> come out of your sack. <laughs> you guys. can't say that. We're on, we're actually in, in drive hey. time. Uh, Maybe that's to get more money from you because they throw a ball in there. That's less product they put in the bottle, right? No, I think I don't know why the ball yeah. is in there. Yeah, um, it makes up for it. Yeah, I'm telling I, you. No, I think it, ounces, you get maybe, no, maybe uh, it's for the form or something like that. It could be. Yeah, right. Uh, like I don't like it. Head. Too dark. Dark. Yeah, it's yeah, it's head, yeah. yeah, it's like head. Yeah. We back to rape again. No. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. You need a girlfriend, man, big time, Jimmy. Big time. I can think about it, but like I said, my dick does nothing. <laughs> Yo, Jimmy, you can't I say have that killed. shit on the freaking radio, okay? I, oh, I my dick. God. I have a pill for you. I know you. Dick Richards. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, give him a couple pills, Joey. Keep him in the system. Oh, he can walk I, around. Let's throw a couple hundred milligrams in him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to ride his back seat. Yeah. 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 Just don't bend over behind yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit, man. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that would be great. Jimmy, what? it's prison time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, get, get back <laughs> to what... the only way a guy can get raped. How? Prison. An- annually, annually. An- yeah, that's right. No, you can't... <laughs> Annually, yeah, annually. What, like when he does his taxes or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's usually yeah, when they rape. Yeah, no, I, I think um, a, a woman cannot rape a man. I'm sorry, just that's my opinion, right? I think it, there have been cases is, where well, Joe, we're talking kids. I think there have been old. cases where no, a man or a kid, a kid, they call it rape when a kid, you know. We, we yeah, if the kid's too young, young yeah, then it's statutory rape. rape. At seventeen, I can see the difference between seventeen and five. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I you know, I don't. Well, it, 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 depending on the rapist, is, is, if he's around that age, I can yeah. see a fifty-year-old raping a seventeen. You know what I mean? Nowadays, you know, kids are you know. Nowadays, these kids are sixteen. They're so horned up, man. You can't rape them. Right. Exactly. You know. right. They screw. They, the they'd they'd screw this desk if we gave right. them yeah, a chance. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, statistics is an average girl right now at thirteen is already broken in. Like a piece of leather? What the fuck are you talking about? Holy shit, man. You can't say that on me. What the hell is wrong with you? Like a wild Mustang. Holy shit. Oh, my God. What the hell? No, listen. They said that the other night. The average teenage girl is 13 years old that has sex now. Hey, I can't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe that. My, and if that's uh, the, yes, average, they had, what's the youngest? 
I don't believe that. 13 years old, yep. They had to go TV, and they they interviewed a lot of girls. They said they average uh, all the girls.